Alright guys, so I get asked all the time about what happens to cop killers in jail and how they're treated and whatnot. So, alright, let's get into it. And it'll probably blow your mind actually, or maybe it won't, I don't know. But anyway, we'll get into it. So, as you could probably imagine, these people are treated like criminal royalty inside, you know. Um, and absolutely like you could imagine everyone that goes to jail hates cops so when you're in jail for doing that they absolutely think that the sun shines out of your butt crack but in saying that it can only get you so far you know what i mean because if you still do shit things or if you're in got other shit crimes or anything like that you can guarantee that people do not give a shit what you came to jail for if you are messing up while you are in prison you are going to get messed up yourself and so like i'll use two examples so bandali debs and jason roberts so they were the the two people that killed um the the silk and miller cases in the 90s um so um, if you're from Victoria, you've probably heard of this case. So, Bandali Debs actually, like, was seen as a, a pretty, like, high up prisoner, you know what I mean? And um, so, he'd been in jail for about 10 years, and then all these cold case murders and rapes came into it. And um, obviously, he wasn't uh, Mr. Popularity after that came out, you know? But then also with Jason, what's really funny about that is I actually went to school with Jason in Melbourne and um, he was like, a t t to know that he done that literally blew my mind because he's like literally was just not that person. You can see that he was with Bandali Debs' daughter and you just know that he was getting brainwashed, you know. They were doing armed robberies and all that. One thing led to another and then two police officers end up dead. They ended up with 37 years and then what happened is the Victorian government done an overhaul so any person in Victoria, I think it's Australia wide now, kills a police officer, you are never getting out. You've got life parole so um, you will probably do 40 or 50 years before they even consider you if they consider you for parole. So you know that's crazy as well and um, but yeah you know they kind of get treated like criminal royalty but yeah don't get it twisted. And this is what happens to them kind of people. They think because they are getting treated like criminal royalty that they can break the rules and bend the rules and they'll get away with it, but they won't, you know. And, um, yeah, so that's what happens to cop killers in jail. And absolutely crazy. But my next video, I am going to tell you what happens to ex-screws and police officers and stuff like that. Let's go.